All right, Mike again here with Auto Praise. Today we're out in Indiana, PA, taking a look at a 68 Corvette. It is supposed to be 30 some thousand mile all original job with a 327 in it, automatic. I got to uh, walk around most of it and check out everything. I haven't been underneath yet. We're going to take it for a test drive after we're done with this and uh, put it up on the rack afterwards. So I'm just going to dive right into the important stuff. Um, I took pictures of the VIN. I'm going to read it off now too. It is 194378S418445. I was having a trouble with glare um, before. I want to see if this will show up. Light on too. Okay, yeah, you're getting a taste of it. Uh, we do have some surface rust throughout there, little chunky spots. Um, and up here, with this window, I found out it is a replacement windshield. It says PPG replacement. Uh, it looks like it had been done a while ago. Uh, and then I do notice that there is this crack here. Uh, it doesn't look like that would have been from a... Um, from a rock or anything just because how loaded maybe something with the cow messed up in there which the cow i couldn't get to open with the manual or the regular stuff but right there it says uh ppg sunshine sulex duplicate laminated safety float it looks like an older glass job now this side has less rust in it but there's a little bit showing there um, i want to open up and show what i could see in here as well uh, while we're here the doors uh, they're not sagging at all and the hinges there doesn't look like they've been messed with I do notice that the wiring into here is all kinds of mess and then someone was in here grinding down metal and doing some stuff and I don't know exactly what they would have been doing maybe it was interfering somewhere in there not a hundred percent sure um, but you can see through here as well. There's the trim tag 402936986 for paint. And then JO, uh, I can't read that. I'm gonna say a six. J, it looks like more like an O than a zero. And then six. Uh, but this is what we're working with up through there. <clears throat> Definitely does appear to be mostly, uh, uh, you know, all original stuff. Uh, that guy's missing on there. Actually, you know what? It was in the, um, the ashtray. The door cords are a little bit pulled off there. That clip there is a little misaligned it looks like slightly off uh, the glass I had up it seemed fine that the windows went up well uh, naturally the passenger side was a little slower that was with the car off too just running straight off the battery um, overall the paint job um, is in pretty decent shape it still has very nice reflective quality I have it out here in the Sun I haven't really looked over all and seen if I've seen any uh, imperfections like major ones like you know down the side like if there's any evidence of any work on anything because I've been more locally looking at stuff but uh, I, I haven't spotted anything in particular yet but you know we're still looking around there are just your typical dings and scratches touch-ups um, all around you know that you would normally see on a everyday or not an everyday, an all original car. Um, and there was a, this had a little bit of work done through here on this stuff. This is uh, not quite smoothed out and everything. Uh, and then I learned something today. These are supposed to be original uh, beauty rings here because they have this uh, indentation. The, I guess the re stamps are just rounded over there. He was explaining to me, which is a new thing I learned today. Up through here, again, we'll, we'll take a better look on the lift when the suspension's decompressed as well. 
there is some. You can see. Isn't this a great little camera for this stuff? There's some goofy looking, just goopy stuff, like fiberglass stuff in there um, that wasn't present as much on this side, but I don't see any damage, uh, like front end damage um, yet or anything like that. There's just more of anything. It's uh, age that's getting to a lot of the stuff I've seen. Um, Two and it's on the lift. This side too, they, they did some work through here. This is all kind of goofy looking. There's some slight cracking in there. I don't know if that, that was probably some type of uh, body sealer, I'm guessing, that attached to Let's get our light back on. This light doesn't like to stay on. I don't know if it's a setting I have. Um, <clears throat> but these are, I know, the important things to know about uh, on that end of things. Take a look at the top here. But I haven't seen any evidence yet of a respray um, or even major touch-ups yet. Um, again, I'm looking at stuff mostly from micro level. Not micro from dirty jobs, but micro as in like smaller and focused. Yeah, I mean, that's one nice thing. Normally with fiberglass, you can feel if something was done, and it all feels consistent and smooth. Uh, let's step inside. Oh. That one's a little sticky. That cable's getting stretched a bit. These door cards are more lined up on the passenger side. Uh, they're in pretty good shape overall, though. I mean, for what they are and how old they are. Um, <clears throat> I was having a really hard time getting pictures of the trunk here because of the, uh, the light shining in, but too much to talk about back here, I guess, but what we can really see. There's a drain plug that's not plugged up there. I don't know if that would have one or not on that end. Uh, here's the belts um, as well that I understand the customer is interested in the shoulder belts, which we got one of each here. Uh, and then there's the laps and everything. So it looks like all that's here. Um, <clears throat> just keep on with the inside. I'm going to hop in the driver's seat though. Oh. So yeah, the odometer is reading 3615. Uh, everything appears original on here. I haven't seen anything that uh, would show otherwise. Uh, turn signals and stuff I checked out work. I couldn't get the lights to go up with the overrides or anything. Same with the wipers and the cowl, and this light is just on now. This wiper override and car's off, so I don't know much about that. The clock's actually working. I think it's even right. Is that? I think it's about what time it is. Maybe an hour behind, so which we just had the everything change. A little bit of this coloration or whatever delamination in the mirror there <clears throat> there's the tops all right we'll get under the hood now I think it's still popped yep uh, motor has been out I would say definitely because it looks to be all repainted and stuff and there's some overspray and a couple little spots but overall in a uh, good Good order that I can see down here. Uh, there was some repair work done here on the radiator, some JB Weld or something going on there that was painted over. Uh, I seen a new uh, booster. Um, 
This is probably, I mean, these, these stickers I'm saying are probably new ones. I didn't get into some engine stamp stuff yet, but we'll, uh, we'll get there too. And then he had mentioned these are like GM stamped hoses and stuff, replacements. Um, looks like all of them for the most part. These, uh, these guys here that there's a new um, uh, vacuum components there. So everything looks like they had been updated. They're, they're, the lines aren't hard or anything, uh, but I wasn't getting anything from there and I was going to ask him to do it. Now these ones through here, I mean they're not, they feel pretty good. This appears to be in a replacement um, piece. I'm sorry, I don't know the technical terms on all of this stuff as much as I do other things. Uh, same here, this is all replacement. So I'm wondering if there's something that just needs uh, messed with or was messed with and that's why we're having these problems. But uh, frame looks really good up here. Uh, got some new grounding wires and stuff there as well. Uh, fuel pump looks like a replacement. New radiator cap. Uh, metal shroud looks like it was just repainted. Looks original though. It says Kettner radiator on it, so again, not 100%, 100% if that's what you got in 68 with it or if that was uh, another aftermarket job. I don't see any evidence of some leaks in the valve covers and or the intake on this side. Take another look at this one. Okay, this side now. That's oil. It looks like it's just coming from the valve cover right there. I don't see any down on the manifolds or anything like that. Uh, there's our engine stamp. Let's see if you can see that. I'll read it off though. It's 3914. Six seven three. And we got a little bit of dampness back there where it mates up to the trans. It just looks like oil, like not not bad or anything. Just there's a little seepage there. Uh, let's see if we can get any numbers off the heads or anything for you. There's some on the water pump, but it's upside down and behind a pulley. Uh, you can see the balancer was painted as well there. I don't see any leaks coming from the power steering or the uh, timing cover. Okay, there we go. We got coming across here. Oh, just noticed water pump. Is that... A crack or is that sealant? Okay, that looks like that was uh, like an RTV or something that just went across there. Yeah, that's not a crack. All right, let's get back into these stamps we're seeing here. We got 18S41844. And then VO422HO. I'm guessing that means high output. Those are good letters. Uh, our inner uh, water pump belt there's got a little bit of a fray on it. They look to be um, replacement belts, or newer replacement belts. Actually, would that one be? Yeah. Uh, everything looks lined up pretty good there. I just got a little bit I'm noticing on there. <clears throat> Can I actually see pretty decent in here? around some areas all right well, wheels and tires are in really good shape period correct tires uh, these are the firestone what are they calling them uh, super belts soup or sup dash or dash belt two Light hairline cracks in the paint right there. 
Oh, and also on the, we just pulled, started it up to bring it out and uh, fired right up. Uh, went to pull it out, stalled, but just like it was literally three seconds after he started it and then started it back up and it idled fine and pulled out. Um, just as a note there. Uh, again, I'm going to talk to him about the headlights and stuff and the wipers to see if he can get them to work. Um, these guys seem very knowledgeable on their Corvettes. Um, so he would be the guy that could get that working, I'm thinking, for me, if, it, if that's going to work. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I'd found so far that was nice mentioning. I mean, you got this kind of stuff going on, too, here, where I don't really want to touch it too much. Definitely... I mean, believing that this is an original setup, seeing if these rear lights all look original, and I don't see—I didn't see any cracks. There's just a little bit of fade in them. I don't know if that's one my way one. Maybe this was Sinatra's. That's what I asked him. He wasn't sure. <laughs> All right, 300 horsepower, 327. We're gonna, I guess, take it for a ride here shortly and see if there's still 300 horses under there. I'm gonna go find Alex, the guy that has been helping me out on everything, and we're gonna take it for a spin. Hopefully he's done with his sandwich. 36,000 original miles. Yep. Cool. Oh, you want to hit? Can you hit those lights and everything? You hit the highs. Okay. That's highs, right? Okay. There's lows. Cool. I already did the uh, did the um, uh, tail lights and stuff. Let's see in there. There's the. Wipers don't work. Okay. The cow comes up though, and actually now that I can, I'm gonna get a quick video just down in here with my light. All right. No, I didn't even think to uh, turn the damn thing this. on. Did you get that? Yeah, I did, I got that. I wonder if it's original glass. It's a replacement. Yeah, right there, there was a replacement one. The side windows are, they look original and are in really good shape. And that was another cold start you seen on video there, just fired right up and is idling nicely. Yeah, uh, where are we at? There were, yeah, temps just starting to come up, oil pressure is coming up now Tax too. It's working. Right at 40. Clock was working. I think it's even no, right. That, I was looking at that. Or it's an hour behind, yeah. but yeah, it's a lot of times I was, they don't work. I was laughing about that. Yeah, no, I'd say like 80% of the time I get in something from this era and there's no. Lights yep. straight down the road. Step on the brakes, it breaks. Yeah, nice and yep. straight. It's not pulling or anything. That glare is killing me. Yeah, no, we're good. good. It seems to ride really nice. Yeah. This would have a turbo 350, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, I'm just. I was. I thought. I'm... This is all nice down in here too. Yeah, I got good it's pictures. It's not cracked up or anything. A lot of times they crack down and through here, and a lot of times this is all cracked up and stuff. You can see all that's all real nice. Someone liked it. Is that the parking brake light or is that like a... Yeah. 
brake issue. Yeah. So far for the first I didn't know if it was uh, when they took that road trip to Florida. Like a brake warning. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. that. Yeah. Actually, that's a good point in Florida. Mark Madden, the super genius. On the radio. And it actually sounds decent, too. Yeah, yeah it's uh, rare. Yeah. Yeah, we're still coming up on temperature. Oil pressure is still up above 35, and it just kind of moves around with the gas pedal and everything. We're going 38 or so. That was sitting around two grand. You can turn around up here, is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. If there is a chance, could we just try to just kind of get into it a little yeah. bit, just so they can, yeah, I can that's no get problem. into it. I mean, we don't gotta blow them off or anything. Just like yeah. kind of. Another thing to look get at the kick down and are those door right. panels. Yeah. They're not all cracked up or anything. No, I guess that's what I, Jason had mentioned to me that they were they changed them the next year because they had, a lot of people tend to grab here and rip them apart. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. I mean that's I spent the morning cleaning my house instead of being outside. I was showing a Outside, you know, this back glass pops out too. Yeah, really clear, it doesn't even seem like it's in. I don't have to step on the gas or anything to keep it running, so the carburetor is good in it and everything, tuned right the way it should be. Christie Park, huh? There's a Christie yeah, Park all, down there. Yeah, all of this me. is from a cold start too. I mean, it's been mm -hmm. sitting in our showroom for about a month. You know. Yeah, I had mentioned in the video before when we pulled it out, it just started right up and pulled out as well. Like there wasn't. Yeah. Yeah, motor seems to be in order for sure. I mean. There wasn't any slippage there. I think we were kind of between gears when we were slowing down. Yeah. That guy didn't steal my Jeep, did he? No. <laughs> All right. Same one. The steering wheel's all. Yeah, can I piece. feel the just yeah. the looseness? That's what. It's oh no, we're tight. tight. Yeah, it's very tight. Yeah. Yeah. And then when yeah. I rest up on the brake. Stop yeah. straight. Stop straight. And consistently, there wasn't any pulsation or anything I felt um, in that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can see that steering wheel is not, it doesn't wiggle or anything. No, it's just everything very tight and light. coming up gas gauge is reading three quarters of a tank suspension still feels good too I mean any bumps we hit I mean everything's tight like I hear any major rattles or anything like that or any thumps Mechanically, the vehicle seems to be in. Pedal wear is consistent too with the mileage. It's there, there's no over over wear like that odometer spun or anything. Yeah. Well, the mileage is the the mileage matches on the title matches yeah. the car. It's. check it out I'll take pictures of all of that so that the uh, buyer can look over that as well 
Yeah, if we could um, get it on the rack, and I can, uh, I, I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have too much time under there. I got mostly everything done from up top. Very cool, thank you. Hey, Tim. Car out here, you can hear it idle a bit. Around over. Pretty even exhaust pressure, don't see any bad any discoloration or any exhaust smoke coming out of it so looks like it's tuned properly alright All right, we're up on the lift now back from the test drive and everything almost fit under here we'll just start in the front here Look at all this good light we got. Everything under here, most of everything looks pretty original. Some things replaced, some stuff not. Like ball joints and everything. I was pulling and twisting on the tires too. Everything's tight up here. Is I mean, nothing really at all. Um, just a little bit of, you know, good old grease cover and everything there. It looks like that upper one might have been replaced and or is coming down a bit there. Uh, Brakes on the front look newer, um, or at least like a third of the way. Ooh, I just noticed we got a little bit of a bend in the wheel there, in that front one on that inner lip. Didn't notice any rumblings or anything when we were driving. Another look at that stuff that was going on there, which I think that more is um, from the factory, I'm guessing. New uh, hoses on the front there, as well as this side for the brake hose. Yeah, these ball joints look like they're starting to come partially apart up there. Uh, I haven't found any evidence of wrecks or anything. Definitely under the assumption this engine's been out at least painted and resealed. Um, and the same with the transmission. Uh, I mean, everything looks real done and over. Sorry for burping there. Uh, and it looks like they either repainted, rebuilt the drive shaft, I'm guessing. When everything was in there, we got some new hardware around here and stuff. Just a little coatings of oil everywhere, just where anywhere it can come out. You know, there's like, I don't see any massive leaks anywhere. Uh, there's one. Oh, that was the old ground sh strap. Actually, I think that might be supposed to go on. That's a newer replacement. Okay. On there. Uh, exhaust has been welded into, it looks like, from here back. Um... We're just straight piped. And uh, all the way back to there, there's the mufflers. These look a little beat up through this section here. This one looked to be replaced. This one looks original on this side. <clears throat> the uh, links back here for the uh, suspension here are a little crusty and uh, probably could go for a replacement. Looks like some new lines on the rear calipers here as well. Same thing on this side with the components. Uh, I don't have any play in the universals there. Looking up through here, we were thinking probably the gas tank got swapped out too. I'm guessing when they had the motor and stuff out. Uh, just looks newer than everything. We got some newer sealing up there look from behind here some type of repair there or is that where they pinched off from the factory with the fiberglass stuff it and then our important spots like our frame rails here I mean we're solid this looks like mostly all original ding paint under here as well Uh, then I have some paperwork. Car looked like it was in California up until at least 84. <sighs> Cork pan gasket on the 
transmission has a little bit of oil and, and or uh, it looks actually more like oil because I'm not seeing transmission like that red anywhere and or leaking out of that. It looks like oil just uh, seeped back. I do see a newer style pan gasket in there. There's a look from underneath up at the motor. We got a little drip there on the power steering pump uh, filled up there, but that looks more like oil because I don't see anywhere leaking from the power steering. So I'm thinking that's just a little residual from the oil. The front timing cover again, no no leaks coming from there. <clears throat> looks like a new uh, fuel pump. Oh, there's plug wires and whatnot. These hydraulic lines look like they were replaced as well. <clears throat> some new bolts right here on the fan shroud stuff. Uh, also, that we did find some paperwork on that radiator, and it uh, came out of a radiator shop in California, the Ketter or whatever it was called. I was just going to check these other inner lips of these wheels, see if anything was going on with them. It looks like it's just that uh, passenger front had that little little ding on the inside. But again, we didn't notice anything on the test drive and it doesn't look like anything was ever leaking from it. These rear frame sections are cross member. Just start get a little more flaky here but this is all solid as can be and there's no heavy undercoating hiding anything or anything what you see is what it is definitely a very original car been a while since I've uh, seen one of these around here like this the little crusty ground strap there. A lot of ground straps. I'm guessing because of all the fiberglass. You need to have some extra grounding. Ooh, there we go with some numbers. What's that say on that tram there? Ooh. Internal Corp. Uh, General Motors Corp. Six six two four three two six six two eight four three two maybe. Kind of hard to see up on that, but this one. Hmm. Yeah, nothing I found too much of major concern here. Nothing that was looking like it was trying to be hidden. Or major placement work done. May have been some work right here. These are shimmed up here on this side, and there's some welds going on through there. There's some, uh, some is it some dirty welds? Kind of like all over that though. It, it's hard to tell. What's these side look like? Couple shims up in there. <clears throat> oh, need to stretch my neck out. Taking it, the wheels were probably resprayed. Unless those just were in that good a shape. I'm going with those probably got cleaned up. I mean, why not? The little, that's the first evidence of any type of paint I've found other than just touch up jobs. It looks like this front probably got some rattle can in it. A little bit of a run there. 
Yeah, that's just paint run. You can see the cracking there. I'm guessing they were probably just straighten that up. That was uh, probably a little dinged up as well. You see a little bit, it's like ground out on that almost. Like, And then some work through this section in this lower balance area. Still solid. Looks like there's probably a crack there at one point. Yeah, it's a little thinner right there. So, I'm guessing there's something that goes here that's not there on either side. Maybe a filler piece or here, probably. That's just compound. Yeah, Bright Works in overall decent shape. I didn't see too many dings or anything. Uh, you can see the, actually that's overspray a bit, it looks like, from whatever they were doing in here. That's the only place that I have noticed any spray work done. Let me get up in here some more. Yeah, the only real critical thing I could say would be those uh, post the windows and stuff, or the windshield posts and all that. Um, the doghouse back here looks good. I mean, everything's solid. I mean, I don't see any rot there. Yeah, I think we've found what we're gonna find on, find on this one. The owners were very helpful and not trying to hide anything and just very knowledgeable about Corvettes too. I learned a few things today as well. Um, like you got to turn the dang car on to have a vacuum system <laughs> work on lights or uh, wipers. The wipers were the only things we couldn't get working today. Uh, the the cow came up for them. The lights worked great. Like I showed in the video and everything uh, and pictures that there is some newer components in there and everything does appear to be done right and well. A little crack going through there. And <clears throat> Even wear on the tires, it looks like potentially starting to cup in on that edge a little bit, but not much. It's just they're too new to really tell if anything's really going on there. Looks like might have touched a curb there or something. Yeah, by no means a sh perfect A-plus show car, but it is a Survivor original driver quality going on. All right, that'll do.